Hi, hey, my friend Tom Claycomb has been a professional butcher for about 40 years and he's always talking about the best knife for this and the best knife for that. Well, he's got a couple he's been wanting to show me. I'm running over to his place. Why don't you come along and we'll figure out what Tom thinks are a couple of great field knives. Hey, brother, check out these knobs I've been telling you about from Knobs of Alaska. Yeah. You have been bragging on those knives now for half a year. These are the ones, huh? That's it. Well, this is a clip blade. That's not my favorite. I prefer a drop point, but I can work with these here. Good old purpose knife. They call it Pronghorn Hunter. All right, so what do you like about it? You got full tang. I'm sure you like that. You know, it's just a stout design knife. I like the full tang, the full handle. I like that you have a finger guard, but if you want to choke down and get in there and do some intricate skinning or whatever, you can choke right down on it. Yeah. I like the serration on top of the spine there. So. And that is, that stabilizes when you choke down, yeah, doesn't see. it? And when I'm working capes, going around the antlers, I like to get that tip. That's where I really like a little drop point. I'm not a drop point, but a, a clip clip point. Yeah. Because I can get in those tight spots. You yeah. I, yeah, I can see you'd like that. What does something like this go for? They're under hundred dollars, believe it or not. Yeah. Is, is it good steel? Yeah, it's D2 steel. It's oh, yeah. hard, it'll keep an edge, but yeah, two, maybe three minutes I can sharpen one on my diamond stone. You must have been sharpening this one. <laughs> that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. All right, so that's under a hundred dollars from our hunter. Now this yeah. one. If you want to move up a step sitting around the campfire and Kind of big king of yeah. the campfire. Yeah, yeah, I know that one. Get this one. The bragging knife, huh? This is it. Oh, that's a, is that a real stag handle? Yeah. Isn't it? that beautiful knife? Yes, it is. And again, we got the full tang. Got a nice bolster on it. Double pinned. Two pins through. I hold the scales against it. That's nice. Doesn't have the serration, but it's got that drop on it. This would be my idea of the all round knife. Isn't that nice? When I first pulled it out of the scabbard, I thought, man, I love it, but it's just a hair short. I tell you what, no, oh no, not at all. After going antelope hunting, yeah. it's my go-to knife now. I carried it last year, bear hunting, antelope, deer, elk hunting. It's my go-to knife. Well, it's got a nice full-size handle on it. I mean, it I don't does. care how short the blade gets as long as I can handle that. I don't want those little short handle things. You're right. A lot of people, I think they make a mistake. They try to make a smaller knife and they shorten the handle. Yeah. Then you don't have control over it. No, this is nice. Oh, I love that little knot. What do you call this one? The legacy. The legacy. Huh. Now, what does that go for? Another hundred dollars? I believe they're around two ninety. Well, they're more expensive. Yeah. yeah. Same steel. It says D two steel on this one. Yeah. But bone handle and good classy looking. Knife. Yeah. yeah. Has a yeah. lot of little additives. To yeah. It. That's Bumped it up to another level. Yeah. Hey, let's try them out. I've got I've got an outro stalling out. Do you? Yeah. Let me slice a little bit off of that. Sounds Maybe good. some tomatoes. I just want to see how they feel. I like the balance of it. Isn't that great? It's got to be really nice. We'll give them both a try. Okay. okay.